Greetings, Bishop Moore family, and welcome to the second part of our Advent Movie Reflections series. I hope everyone's Advent is going really well and that it continues to be blessed as we get ready for Christmas. So this week's movie that we suggest you watch and take some time to think and ponder and allow the questions that are present in the movie to be the questions in your heart uh, so that you can be drawn more deeply into prayer is the classic tale of the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. This is, of course, based off of Dr. Seuss's popular book, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. There have been quite a few uh, versions of this movie done throughout the years. I think there was one in 92, 2000, 2010, something like that. Um, pick any of them, they're all great. They're all going to get the point across. My favorite is the Jim Carrey version. I like it especially because uh, it's a very funny, but also B, they kind of give a little more depth to the Grinch's character. They, they build him up a little bit more, go into uh, his backstory. Um, and it's just a great, it's a great movie experience. Uh, but what I want to focus on is of course, you know, the, ma the main point of the movie, which is we have two choices in life. We can be angry and bitter, or we can allow our hearts to feel the love and goodness that's in the world. So, what happens in the movie? The Grinch, he goes to steal Christmas, and as he's about to toss everything that represents Christmas off of a cliff, all the material goods, all the presents, all the turkeys, all the decorations, he hears the Who's down in Whoville, and they're singing Christmas songs, and he can't understand it. He stole everything that had to do with Christmas materially, and yet the Who's are still happy. Why? Because Christmas is in your heart. It's not something you buy at the store. And so, of course, this changes the Grinch. It causes his heart to grow ten sizes that day. And uh, what a beautiful tale, you know, that Christmas is not, it's not about the presents, it's not about the food, it's not about the decorations. Those things are nice. But ultimately, it's about allowing beauty and goodness and peace into your heart. That's the that's a same choice that's before us. Let's be honest, 2020 has been an awful year. Uh, I don't think there's a single person who's coming out of this unscathed. And it's easy for us to get bitter. It's easy for us to get angry. It's easy for us to feel depressed and, and um, to want to give up. And that's not what God wants for us. And that's not what Christmas is about. So take some time, watch the movie. It is a classic. And reflect on where are the areas in your heart where you need to be humble and ask the Lord to lift you up, to, to unchain your heart, to change what's within you, just like the Grinch's heart was changed, uh, so you can have a peaceful, joyful Christmas this year. God bless.